Hey everybody, in this video I'm going to show you the Manfrotto Element Travelers Tripod Kit and why I think it could be the best mobile photography tripod for you. So stick around and check it out. Alright, welcome back everybody. Kurt here. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. I bring you tips, tutorials, gear reviews, and inspiration for your mobile photography. And in this video, I'm talking about the Manfrotto Element Traveler's Kit Tripod. I've been using for the last year and a half the Manfrotto Compact Light Tripod. And um, I've got a, I did a review on that one. I'll leave a link in the description down below. And it's done quite well for me, but I wanted to step up my game a little bit and get a better ball head. So I did a lot of research, a lot of searching around, a lot of watching videos on YouTube. And I found this one on Amazon and I'm quite happy with it. So I want to go over some of the key features and why I think it's probably going to be the best for the serious mobile photographer. And you might think so too. So number one, it's only 12 and a half inches long which makes this super compact and light. It does fit in my mobile photography bag. I've got the Low Pro Sling Pack and I can clip it onto the back. It's got some clips or what I like to do too is just hang on to it. The legs are super stiff so you can even just grab the leg like this and walk around with it and it's not going to flop around on you. Secondly, it only weighs 2.65 pounds. And for a tripod, for me, that's super light. I do a lot of hiking and walk along the trails. And really, 2.65 pounds, 2.5 pounds, doesn't really feel like much in your hands or even your pack. Compared to <clears throat> the other tripod that I have, um, the Compact Light, the Compact Light, I think, is about 1.8 pounds. So it's, it's under 2 pounds. It's super light. But there's a lot of classic components on that. This one here is all aluminum construction and it's a lot more durable than the last one that I have. So I have no issues with this one, whether or not it's going to break down on me. Next would be the top attachment quick release plate. So this is something that I don't have on my other tripod, which is a quick release plate. Let's just open this up here so we can get at it. So this has, but more common to, for like DSLR camera systems, is a quick release plate. So the release plate comes off just like so. It's got the quarter inch mounting screw on there, so it's good for pretty much any camera system as well as your phone attachments for your tripod. So I got one here, and let's show you how this works. So it's got the little tab on the back here, so you don't need a screwdriver or anything. Just screw into the bottom. Like so. Slides into the top. Give it a snug and it's done. And then that will hold your phone. Like that, nice and secure. Next is the five section independent leg system they have. So each leg has got five five sections to it. So right here is your pivot point that's connected to the main body and then it has four extendable sections that use the twist lock method. So you just give it a twist and it opens right up and extends right out and then you just tighten it up wherever you want it and it holds it in place. I wasn't, uh, when I first got this, I wasn't sure if I was going to like this twist lock method because my other tripod has the levers and um, I found that really super easy and fast but the more I get used to this one, I have no issues with it. And actually, these twist locks have a nice rubber, like a Duratouch grip to it. So when you go to get your hands on there and give it a good twist, it feels nice and secure in your hands. Now with these legs, what I do like about these legs is they can go 
pretty much any way you want them to put put them so they have a nice positive lock to them as you can hear the clicks so it has a lever here you push this lever and you can collapse the leg all the way this way for when you want to collapse it up and carry it around or you pull it down and there's one click and it locks second click and it locks if you want you can keep it can go a little further like that but when it clicks like that it means it's locked and it's not going up anywhere so when you're setting up your tripod and when you hear that click if that's where you want to get it it's not going to open up on you which is a really nice feature the next thing with these legs is you can invert this tripod if you want to get really low to the ground so if we were to collapse this like so and turn it upside down we'll extend this leg up here like so and like so you can get super low to the ground just like that I actually tried this the other day I was taking a photo of a waterfall and I wanted to get really low, as low as possible, down to down to the water. So <clears throat> I had this actually standing right in the middle of the river. And then I had my phone just like this, just to suspend it just off the water line. Um, and it handled it great. And you still have full mobility of that ball head as well as a 360 degree this way. So it was quite nice. Now, at the base, I mean, you can see at the base of the center column here is a hook and it's spring loaded and what that's for is when you have this thing put it back up here for you so when you have it upright in its normal position you can this is for a weight hook so most commonly you take your um, your camera bag in the top loop of your camera bag and you just hook it onto the loop right here and it adds as an extra weight and holds it down so it does a couple things it does it keeps your camera bag off the ground and out of the water if you're doing waterfall photography but it also acts as a weight so if you're or if you're in windy conditions or you're in uh, in the middle of a river or something you're taking photographs of the waterfall like i do and you want some extra weight because you, you, the, the tripod's getting some wind or the, the stream, the current from the river, just put your camera bag onto here and it's going to give you that extra weight to hold it down for you. Now, the ball head itself is a removable ball head. Let's just take the phone off the quick release plate here. The ball head itself right here is removable. So you just give this a twist and it unscrews and comes off. So if you want to replace this with a different ball head of your choice, you can. Um, but I like the one that's on here. And the reason why I like this one, it has the pan lock feature on it. So what that does is just like most ball heads, it's got the full movement this way, as well as if you wanted to go into portrait mode, you can turn your phone this way. Let's just put the phone in there for a second so you can see what I'm talking about. So if you wanted to go switch to portrait mode, you can. And you got full movement there. Landscape mode, you got full movement this way. But what I was talking about with the pan lock is you lock your phone in place to where you want where it's level. And then this lever right here, you can actually pan 360 degrees so if you're into you want to take some nice panoramic shots and you want to get it super smooth just lock it in place where you want it on the horizon and then just slowly turn this as far as you want and it's super smooth and that's one of the best features for me anyways when I was looking at this tripod is I wanted a nice ball head on there and at the top of the ball head the quick release plate there's actually a bubble level right there. So you can set your tripod level and 
Set your quick release plate, make sure everything's level if you want to get it completely level in your shot. It also has a secondary bubble level right here. So when you're doing those portrait shots and you turn your phone that way, you can see the bubble level on top there as well. Now as far as height wise, this extends out to 55 and 3 quarter inches tall, which is 4.6 feet. And I'm six foot three, relatively tall guy. And I find this tripod to be a perfect height for me, but that's with the center column fully extended. So this center column unscrews there and comes up as well. So when that center column is fully extended, legs fully extended, that gives you that 4.6 feet tall. And it comes to about here on me, which is perfect. Um, if you're a shorter person, then you just lower that center column or the legs to your liking. If you're taller for, for a, a traveler's tripod, um, this is still probably going to be a good one for you. Lastly with this is straight out of the box, it comes with these nice soft tipped rubber feet that are screwed into the tripod. And then included in the box, you get these nice metal spikes. And I really like these ones when you're doing it outside, they really grip into the ground well. So the first thing I did, because most of my photography is done outside, if you watch any of my videos, mostly with uh, waterfalls, is uh, first thing I did is I unscrewed these and screwed these in. And they do have the shape there that you can put a wrench on there, some pliers to give it an extra, snug it up extra bit. And I do recommend that. When I first put these in, I didn't do that. And I had it out the first time walking down the trail for about 20 minutes. Stopped to look at the tripod and a couple of these had already unthreaded and were about to fall off just from the vibration of me walking. So I had some pliers on me, tightened them all up and I haven't had an issue since. So that's a great feature with those. My other tripod doesn't, doesn't have that feature with a nice spike. So I do like that. Okay guys, in summary, in my opinion, I think this is probably the, the best, one of the best anyways, uh, most versatile, compact, full of features, mobile photography tripod for you. Um, you just can't beat the quality, the features that you get, the pan lock ball head, um, all for under $200 budget, you know, 200 bucks, that's 200 bucks Canadian, under $200 Canadian. So if you're my US friends or anywhere else in the world, it's probably a little bit cheaper. Um, if you're looking to purchase this one, there's uh, I'll leave a link in the description down below for you. If you are so, if you're a serious mobile photographer, I'd go with this one. If you're just starting out, um, you're a little bit more budget conscious, and you're not sure if you're going to be using it too often, then uh, I would recommend the compact, the Manfrotto Compact Light Tripod, and I'll leave a link down below for that one as well. So thanks again for watching, everybody. If you got something out of this video, give it a like. Do subscribe if you haven't already done so. And we'll see you in the next video.